Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 27th, 28th, and 29th. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, a couple of things. One is, if you're new, or even if you're not, if you're a cross-watcher, and you've not heard this before, this is the introduction. I tag this to all the videos. So, if you want to just go straight to the video, I am going to put down over in the description the timestamp now. And so you can just bypass. I hope you watch it at least one time. Now the other thing is we're going to be reach we're going to be starting on Rumble, or at least I'm going to try to post these on Rumble. Not sure how that's going to work. I will try to still have that timestamp so that you can bypass, but this will be seen on all videos. It will also be um, in its own, it'll also be its own individual, you know, video. So what we do is when I am reading for the weekend, I use my Radley Valentine deck, my Angel uh, Tarot cards, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I will be pulling one from my Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue, Angels of Abundance, and then I, I end with my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, since we're coming into um, into Rumble, I thought I would add Angel Answers Oracle Cards from Radley Valentine also. So basically, that'll be a, okay, have your question ready, and let's pull a card and see what happens. Now, during the introduction, I use my, because I do a kind of a global what on earth is happening in the earth, I will use my Weight Rider, uh, traditional tarot, and I will pull my from my Osha Zen tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to let the messages flow and deliver them to you. And it's made it a lot easier when I realized I did not have to understand it all. Now, a couple of things going on. Let's go on and just see what is going on in the world and the stars. Um, basically, uh, we have, we are in Aquarius season, but we have on the 27th Venus entering into Pisces. So Venus is leaving Aquarius and going into Pisces. Pisces is the last of the astrological signs for the year. It's dreamy. It's, it's very... Um, intuitive it's a lot of feelings and a lot of possibilities we also have neptune in pisces so there's a lot of deep energies with that too now venus is about relationships it's about new starts also there, there's new starts you know there's a hope there's a there's a all the possibilities so it's going from venus is going from the intellectual possibilities to the dreams again um, Venus in Pisces can be a little foolish, but foolish in that good way. It's not a way that's, you know, like you're, you're being silly or stupid. No, no, no. It's just kind of maybe you're being a little whimsical. Maybe you're going after some of those dreams that you just never thought were possible for you. So Merc now on the 30th, uh, yeah, the 30th of January, we have Mercury, which is in Capricorn, trining with Uranus, which is in Taurus. So we have the two Earth energies, you know, your job, your career, your home, your money. And we have uh, Mercury, which is, you know, electronics, but it's also about um, messages. And, you know, so we have Uranus as expect the unexpected. The interesting thing, too, about Uranus, and remember this, is that it's always, a, it's, it's, it's a liberator in many ways. It tries to free you from whatever, you know, from the dull drums of the day. But sometimes it's not necessarily, you know, a lot of times it's not necessarily an easy switch. And then on the 30th, we also have uh, Aquar the sun in Aquarius trining with Mars and Gemini. We have that um, air energy again, you know, that thought process is thinking things through, making some plans, hearing some news with the, you know, with the sun sign, the sun energy focusing and that Mars energy confrontation. So there could be some interesting confrontations during that time also, but they'll be very well thought out. And then we go when we go into February, remember we have the uh, we have the full moon, fourth, fifth, I think, and that is in Leo. So interesting energies there. So now let's go on and just kind of see, uh, you know, like I, I think I've said, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. 
whatever the message is i'm just going to let it flow and let's see what we have here so this is the weight rider traditional okay higher power what's going on what what do we need to be aware of what do we need to watch for okay we have a card that has fallen out well actually it's it's flipped and we have the hanged man now remember that numbers are very important also so on this we have a 10 and a tw uh, we actually have a 12 we have a 10 and a 2 2 is crossroads choices 10 is transitional energy it is um, you know things have to move forward but then we can add the 1 plus the 2 we come to a, to a 3 and that can be um, basically that can be all about celebration creativity now the hanged man is looking at things from a totally different perspective so it's kind of like um you know there is and remember uranus has been has gone direct and it's a slow mo, mo it's slow motion right now so and you know expect the unexpected and i just said it it's a you know it's a break free type type of energy so there could be something in the world that's kind of like you don't don't take it at face value just don't take it at face value all right it's it's whatever it is don't take it as face value my thing is always um don't be afraid don't be don't be fearful because fear again too like i'm always saying is a tool of the devil and it tries to trap you okay so something could be going on that we need to look deeper into and we just cannot take it at face value okay let's see higher power what else do you want to say here we go for this weekend now remember anything reversed to me has stronger energies and this came out um you know strong energy too so again i really get this don't take it at you know face value things aren't what they seem to be you know it kind of has that what is it would it be the seven of swords it's like you know that you, you might be directed to look here and really this is what's going on okay so let's see here next card is we have judgment again this one is reversed so we have a 20 energy we have that two energy we have two ten so transition transition we have that 20 energy the two crossroads choices decisions coming together zero god source energy so there is something very big happening in the universe in the i would you know i'd be it'd be interesting to see when the weekend is here what the schumann resonance is like are we being whited out again because we've had a couple of those times and then we have times of very um a very stable energies and then we get these really in the last couple of days we've had these really strong white out energies too so judgment is looking at things kind of like there's there's forgiveness with this there is forgiveness because if we cannot forgive ourselves and others how are we to be forgiven there is looking at things in a way of being kind of like um you know there it's looking at our past our present it's looking at our history um you know if we don't learn from history you know we're doomed to recreate our you know the same mistakes but again there's a lot of we have to be very realistic we have to look at it as it is um and also too you know we did the best we could with what we had so it's it's you know judgment is not necessarily punitive though sometimes we do have to make amends with judgment but it's really our own it's really um you know facing higher power god source and kind of saying yeah this is where i am this is what i did but now i understand it a little bit more i'll never understand it fully but i understand it a little bit more forgiveness again forgiveness is not, not is not for so much the other person as it is for yourself and then judgment comes and says let's move on so we've got a lot of looking around here you know again this is um you know looking at things a little differently looking at ourselves a little bit differently it's kind of coming to the realization and remember yes i know saturn is in aquarius right now remember saturn is a very much rules regulations constriction uh, aquarius is free thinking it's about the communication it's about the people the community um you know i always look at saturn and i mean i've been saying this for two plus years it's all about illusion versus the reality and so there's a lot of reality energy here now next card 
Now we have the moon. So we've got a lot of major arcana energy here. So we have an 18 here. So we have the 10, 1, 0. Now 5 is about change. And then 3 is celebration, like I said. 18, the, um, again, the 10 transition. 8 is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. And you can add the 1 and 8 together. It becomes a 9. You've got, hey, everything. Wrap it up. Everything's done. So the moon's been coming out a lot in a lot of my personal readings. It's There's hidden energies. There is things that we just don't know what what's going on. It just feels very um, kind of unsettling in some ways, because remember the moon does affect the earth. It does affect the water, the tides, the gravitational pulls, or however you want to say it. There is always an effect. But the moon also has things that is hidden. The moon also has things that we are not aware. Things going on, like they say, behind the scenes. Okay? So we are in a waxing moon right now. So that is the new moon, which we just had. And it was a super moon. It is getting larger and larger. It is the requesting moon. Now the other thing about the moon, though, I, I'm looking at this. And it's like the moon is pulling out the uh, feral energies, the, um, you know, not, not the fallow, but the feral energies. It's, it's, even though it's hidden and it doesn't give a large glow, it gives enough of a light. Um, it's like it, it's shining a light. It's, you know, if you watch and you look, you're going to see some of the, you know, the stuff that's tried to come against us, come against the world in many ways. Um, not quite sure. But the moon also tells you to follow your intuition. The moon also says, you know, just, you know, pray, meditate. And all of these are about praying and meditating. And, you know, the, the tarot cards are actually an extremely spiritual um, cards with messages. So the moon, hidden energies, um, intuit, intuitive energies, things happening behind the scenes. There is something about these dogs. It's kind of like it's pulling out the dark energies too. And, you know, and again, you know, for us to be, for it to be seen. Okay. You tell me what you're thinking about this. You let me know. Okay. So let's see what else we might have here. So let's see. Osha Zen Tarot. Oops. Not this. Osha Zen Tarot. What do you have? What's the world? Higher power. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What should we be aware of? There's a lot. Your energy is very high here right now. There's a lot of um, looking underneath, looking beneath, looking at ourselves, looking at what's going on. Okay, so now we get ripeness. Now, again, we get that nine. Everything's coming together. You know, you've got everything you need. You need. Ripeness is everything's ready. Everything's ready. The fruit is falling off the vine. It's now, it's it's now, there's a, there's a sense of time. There's a sense of whatever this is going on, everything's ripe. Is there a ripe, you know, it, the things, you know, whatever this changes, whatever, whatever these strong energies, we are ripe. We are ripe. Things are happening. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens on this weekend. But ripeness has a really interesting, I mean, like I said, the fruit is ready, the fruit is falling, things are ripe, we're ripe. Okay, meditate, you know, I'll say this is a good weekend to meditate, uh, to um, reach out, to pray, however it is that you connect. Now, please, please, please do me a favor, please go down here to like, share, subscribe, clicking on bells or clicking on whatever it is for notifications that you might need. I am going to be trying to upload this on Rumble, so we will see what we will see. But also, too, should you just be watching the introduction, I always end, and I truly mean this. Always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye. Hello, my Capricorns. How are my Cappies doing? Okay interesting stuff going on of course it's always interesting to me you know that venus is going into pisces that's a very caring and loving energy it could be a little moody 
Um, so you may it may tweak a little bit of the moodiness for you. But I was kind of as I'm doing your as I'm doing your cards and I'm shuffling in between. And I'm thinking about my Capricorns. This is this is a book I believe, and it's a, also a movie. And I'm not sure I've never seen it or read it. A lot of people like it, but I was getting this thing. What do we want to talk about for my Capricorns? And it was about live, laugh, and love. And it just is kind of like a good weekend for you to enjoy yourself a little more. Um, you know, remember Capric um, that good old Pluto that's been so destructive, especially in your tearing down a lot of your paradigms, a lot of your security. It will be moving into Aquarius. So that energy, even though it's, because remember, it's, it's a slow acting, slow moving one. So that's going to be in March. I know I talk about this a lot, but it's, it's big and it's happening. It's going now. You should feel like the pressure is easing up a little bit right now. It will then go back into Capricorn. But for right now, just enjoy and embrace the freedom. Embrace the the energies as they lighten up okay so live laugh love i think that that's a good way to just enjoy your weekend okay and embrace 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 what all the good stuff that's coming so higher power what do you want to say to our capricorns to our capricorns let's see what we have here for you first card is the two of air. Two of air. Okay, this is that one where you just don't know which way to go. This is that one that says, you know, this is the two of swords. She's sitting there with these swords crossed over her. I mean, and she's kind of got stuff by, you know, she's bound up. She's just, you know, but at any point she can get free. She can get up. She can get off her butt and just make a decision. And this is that type of energy that surrounds you. Again, I'm saying you should decide to just have a good, you know, just kind of have this decision to just, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy myself and I'm just going to have a good time this weekend. I'm going to live, laugh, love. I'm going to just put out the positive energies. And if you really think about it, that is a decision that you, you know, that you make. You make. Am I going to be, do I choose to be grumpy? Do I choose to be pessimistic? Do I choose to, um, to embrace the negative vibrations, bring my vibrations down? Or do I choose to bring them up? Do I choose to say whatever's going on in the world is not going to bother me? That's that type of decision. So air energy is our Aquarius, it's our Gemini, our Libra, it's your thoughts, your mind, your what am I going to think? Where am I going to go? What am I, you know, my mind, where am I going with all of this? You know, what am I choosing to do? Also, it's about, you know, it's about um, thought processes. It's, it is about hearing news. So two is crossroads, choices, decisions. Which way do I go with that? Now, it also is coming together, somebody, you know, coming together, you know, this Venus thing um, could be very much that. Again, it could even be a decision about a relationship. Maybe somebody is being um, asked to move in, to be married. Maybe it's something to do with your job. You know, you're being asked to be promoted. You know, you're being asked to be promoted. I'm not saying you're asking, but it's like somebody might be asking you and you're like, well, what do I do? What do I do? You have a choice here. By not making choices, though, it really does bring down those vibrations. It really puts you in a place where you're, where you are more controlled than in control. So the two of air is kind of saying you have more control than you actually think. By not making the decision, you are being controlled. Okay. What did that mean? You let me know. So being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate. Pretending there is no problem. Next card is the lovers. So is this about a relationship? Because the lovers also have choices in this. Do I love or do I or do I not? Do I forgive or do I not? Do I heal or do I not? Do I connect or do I not? I know I keep it's like wow. So the lovers is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is the angel of healing, the Archangel of Healing. And, you know, she, he brings this wonderful possibilities and options. The thing about Archangel Raphael, healing does not just have to be emotional healing. It can be emotional. It can be spiritual. It can be financial. It can be physical. It can be relationship-wise. But it's, again, these are 
choices. So you're getting, your, your weekend is about choices, I think, for this weekend. Now, six is the number of man. It's the energy you put into something. So, you know, should you choose? So, you know, should you choose to give love? You know, yes, that can make you vulnerable. Um, but it also could be a very, it could be one of those risks that has a very good payout with it too. So it, there's, there's choices, choices, choices. What am I choosing? Um, you know, am I being controlled or am I in control? E right or wrong, right or wrong. I saw this on a meme. Right or wrong, make a decision. Okay, make a decision, my Capricorns. Uh, and this is what I said. There are many, there are many squirrels that have been flattened because they have not made a decision because they did not make a decision. So it's a, there's a lot of decision energy. Um, right or wrong, make a decision anyway. So here we go. The lovers, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. So you know, I'm saying yeah, weigh your decisions and all that, but eventually, but. Come to the point where you actually do make your decision. Here we go. Next card is, oh, so it's so hard to do when you have so many choices. <laughs> so we have the seven of water. Water is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And we know, you know, we did have the full moon in Cancer, but our next moon is going to be Leo. And there's going to be a little more um, roaring and a little more passion with that coming up. But uh, Pisces is, again, Pisces is the one, you know, um, a lot of things going on. What did I say? Venus is in Pisces. Neptune is in Pisces. And we are we are transitioning from, I know it's still in March, but it's really a big month. It's a big energetic month. But the transition is starting even now. We have Saturn transitioning to Pisces. Saturn is about constriction, is about control. Um, you know, Pisces, Pisces is going to just let me, hey, I'm swimming. I'm swimming and I'm going where I want to go. So it's, it's going to be an interesting time with that one too. But water, the seven of cups is about choices. Choose wisely. Make your, you know, again, it's about decisions, choices. Choose wisely. Okay. A complex decision, the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. You know, is that on the research? Is that on making the decision? It could be any and all of it. So we have a 267, a 762. So again, seven, divine number, divine umbrella. So it's kind of like, you know, this could be an answer to prayers, but you have to make a decision. <laughs> I know. I just go back to the movie, and I, I probably should go and watch it or the book or whatever it was. But um, live, laugh, love, I decide, I decide. To be happy. I decide to be happy. Okay, let's see what we have for my Capricorns. Let's see what we have. What, what do we have? So, does it sound like it might be a rough um, weekend? Well, it could be if you don't like to um, make decisions. <laughs> I'm giving you all big hugs, my Capricorns. You'll get through. You'll get through. Okay. The waiting game. So, we have a two energy again. So this would be, this would be, I think this is the two, is this the two of air or the two of fire? They, air and fire have the same type of, um, I think this is the two of fire. Let me kind of take a peek at this again. Hold on a second. Now, this is the two of fire. So two choices, decisions. Um, this is fire energy. This is our Aries, our Leo, our Sagittarius. Remember, Aries and Leo are strong. The waiting game um, does have, again, choices. Which way do I go? What am I going to do? Wh you know, the wait, this also, the two of fire, the two of rods, also has coming into your own energy. It also has um, partnership energy. Now, the only thing that I'm looking, when I look at this card, though, even though two of fire and two of, this should be, you know, fire also, um, you know, the thing that makes this different is while we have this, you know, hourglass, so it's an hourglass, time is moving, time is going on. We also look at this tree and with the roots. If you don't make a decision, and he's going around in circles, he's turning around, he kind of... Or he might be standing still, but his path, what he sees is circles. 
the tree is the tree is not growing. I mean, it looks like it's okay. There's some leaves on it, but it's not growing to its fruition. The roots are bound. So again, decision. Now the two of fire has, you come, you know, you come to that point where you need to just move. You've come into your own. There's a partner that might be helping you, but it's again, it's a very bold action and it has to be, you know, a bold movement. So, but you're waiting. You might be waiting for someone else to make your decision. And again, when you do that, you're not taking control. Okay? Not just saying. Just saying. You have a lot to unpack here, my cappies. Okay, let's see. Angels of Abundance. What do we have for my Capricorns? What would you like to tell our Capricorns? What do they need to know? Here we go. Here we go. Deservingness. Oh my goodness, deservingness. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your life, your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, Trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Oh, that's going to make me cry. I want to read that again. That's, that's, is that what's going on, my cappies? You deserve. You do deserve. Right or wrong, make the decision. Okay, don't, don't be afraid. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Oh my goodness, my Capricorns, is that what's going on for you? Give you big loving hugs. Anyway, let's, whoa, okay, you deserve, you deserve my Capricorns. Anyway, let's go on. You hold so much on your shoulders. Let's go on and see what crystal or energy for my Capricorns would be helpful, would be loving, would be caring for you. Here we are. There's a lot in this to unpack. God's source is giving us a lot of messages here. All right, here it is reversed. Black tourmaline, one of my favorites. Protective, anxiety relief, aura cleansing, self-belief. Whoa. Big stuff. Big stuff. Anyway, I told you we would do Angel Answers by Radley Valentine. Please remember, do not base your life decisions upon this. This is for fun. Um, I will tell you, though, so my Capricorns, think of your question, but again, this is for fun. I'll tell you that I have used these a couple of times, maybe more than I should, and I've always like, that's not the answer I want. But when in hindsight, I can see where it would, where it really did um, connect. So let's see what we've got here. My Capricorns, um, ask your question. Think of your question. Again, this is for fun. Anyway, let's see what we've got going here. Capricorns, Capricorns, Cappies have, ans have questions. What answers do you want to give? We're just taking one. Here we go, my Capricorns. Ask for help from others. We have a dual duality here. We have two again. Ask for help from others. How interesting is that? Yeah. What do you think? Breathe. Breathe, my deserving Capricorns. All right. We're trying to upload these in Rumble. Right now, YouTube is uh, faster, but we'll get there anyway. So please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Most importantly, though, and this is the most important thing for you, my Capricorns, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.